everybody in here just sitting here on my porch having my coffee with all of you and I got some amazing things from some amazing people I'm not sure I know who they are all from but I do know some of them um, so I got them like spread out I've got some I got one from UPS a couple from UPS uh, FedEx came just today and I just went to the post office and picked a bunch of stuff up so press it time and you know all right let's get to the first one Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Oops. Okay. First one. Just a little note. Oh, that's from my mom. <laughs> just from my mom. Okay. That's that's just for me. And then I got another nice little letter from Miss Donna. I love getting letters. And what's this? What is this? Oh, this is a note. I'm going to save this for another video. This is a note that somebody left um, in my apartment mailbox back when I used to play the flute. And I would practice the flute with my windows open because I was getting ready for this big recital. And um, they just left me this note, so I'll tell you about it some other time. Okay, first off, you know what? I think I already showed these. Yes, I did from Doreen. The MC4 connectors. Yep, I will use those when I get my next solar panel. Okay, this one. Hmm. Okay, don't know what it is. I don't think I need the... Uh... Alright. <gasps> yep, this was on my wish list. This was on my wish list. Alright. This is very important because I'm going to try and go to, and sorry if I'm sweating, it's just hot out here and the sun is blazing down at me. Um, this is a 12 volt connector for my solar panel setup. These little clampy things go directly onto one positive and one negative of my solar setup. And then that, see that? That's like a little cigarette lighter. So I can plug in 12 volt appliances like um, this little this little lunchbox cooker thing. Um, there's a... Uh, I don't want, like a heated blanket. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that's 12 volts, so now I'm going to be able to do that. Let's see who it's from. <gasps> from Donna F. Donna F. Okay, that's not Donna B. All right, thank you, Donna F. Thank you so much. This is very much needed, and I wanted it very badly, and it's going to come to good use, absolutely. All right, let me keep these all kind of in a good place. Okay. This one came today. Little packet. Don't know what it is. Do not know. Oh, yes. Definitely, I needed this because, let's see if it says who it's from. Oh, gosh. I think this is from... Um, a cap because those one gallon uh, mason jars that I got, the caps, one of them I broke and one of them I, drill, I drilled a hole in so I could ferment with it. So I needed one of these that uh, was intact so I could use it as a um, fermenter or whatever. So this is awesome. I needed it. I haven't been able to use uh, the other one gallon jug yet because, uh, or recently because, um, I'm tired. I haven't had, I haven't had enough coffee yet. Uh, because I broke one and then the other is in use as a fermenter. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, I gotta show you this. Oh, let's see. This is from Donna B. Now I know what this is. And this, this was her idea. And, um, because you know how I was struggling with those solar panels? And moving them around and stuff. And then I put the casters on them. And they kind of got gummed up with all that clay mud. Well, this, I'm trying not to move the camera. <laughs> Bubble wrap! <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, she brought me instructions and everything. Okay, let me let me put this off to the side. Um, all right, 
she sent me four of these wheels. See that? <coughs> and they've got little places where you can connect them. And they've got little on and off brakes. Let me get a drink. My throat is dry. I get excited. I get excited. I'm an excitable kind of gal. So not only did she send me that, but she sent me all kinds of different screws. Two inch, three inch. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at this. Look at this. This is so thoughtful. She sent me a multitude of bits. A uh, Phillips head, which I needed. Another Phillips head, which I needed. And another one. And another one. Oh, see, there's got two on this one. That is so cool. And then an itty bitty bitty one. <laughs> um, here, let me see if I can just hold these up. Oh, and here's another one. Um, that's got a flat head and a Phillips head on it and then different size little drilly thingies trail bits Oh, that is so thoughtful. I can't believe it. I didn't know she was doing that. That is so cool Okay, um, so two inch three inch zip ties yeah and One five eighth inch screws one and a half inch screws So I'm gonna be set with all oh, would you look at this? It's full. Look at this. There's a little toolbox in it and it's full. I don't have a toolbox. I've just been using my tackle box. Oh my gosh. There is everything in here that I could possibly need to build a frame. Look at this. Look at all that stuff. Well, okay. Let me just kind of go through some of it and show it to you. L brackets different kinds of corner brackets. Uh, more screws, one and a quarter. Self-tapping screws, yes, yes. More brackets, L brackets, L brackets, all kinds of brackets. These, yes, absolutely, those are necessary. Washers of different kinds. What are these? Sheet metal screws. Screws. What are you doing down there, Judy? She's been making me crazy. Uh, sheet metal screws. More brackets, one inch, five eighth inch. There's nails in here somewhere. Oh, here's the nail label. Nails, um, big nails, little nails. Oh, oh my goodness, hooky dudes. <laughs> she sent me all of this stuff. And look at this, look, look, I don't even know what these are. Nut setters, magnetic nut setters. One quarter inch, five, uh, five sixteenth inch, three eighteenth inch. Oh my gosh. Look at that. See, you put them on and then anything that has that kind of thing on it. See, I call things thingies. You can tighten them with my little electric drill. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is amazing. Donna, you are so thoughtful. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to have to buy anything to build this frame to move my solar panels around with better. This is going to be so cool. Okay, let me see if I can close this back. She had it all in here, so perfect. I kind of got it in there perfect. Not quite as good as she did, though. All right, let me put this all away. Donna, you are amazing. See, now I can see what, why you get excited about building things, because you know how to do it, and you know what... Uh, is needed and whatnot, and then she sent me. Let's see what this is. On a Christmas tea cakes, on the other side of it, she sent me a frame. She sent me instructions on how to do the frame. Look at this. Look at these instructions. So, if I can't do this. I, I don't know. There's something wrong with me, right? She told me where to put the wheels. She told me how to build the frame. Tada! You are amazing. And then, I don't know what's in the bag, but she sent me a cute little bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, she sent me the receipt if I'm going to, if I want to replace them. No, I'm not going to replace them. And this little notepad. Look at that. With a little tiny cabin on it. I love it. And then she sent me 
blessings. I'm going to read this to myself. <laughs> Reminded me of Betty. Oh. oh. Every meal you make, every bite you take, I'll be watching <laughs> It's a magnet. Yup. That's very cool, Donna. Thank you. And this little baggie. I'll find some good use for this baggie. So, this is wonderful, Donna. Thank you so much. I can't wait to get started on building that. I just need to go out and get the wood. And I'm going to be able to do that eventually here real soon. So... I'm going to put this all away because i still got a couple things left. This is amazing. I, I mean, I just can't believe it. Okay, i got to move some stuff around and then come back. And um, then I've got three more. All right, be right back. This next one is also what it is that you can shake it up. So let me see what's in there. What's the easiest way to open this? How about this? This is so much fun. No, that's not a good way to open it. Tell you what, um, no, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna figure out a way to get this open. I bet you it's a pain in the butt having to sit here and watch me <laughs> dig into these. All right, I'll be right back. No idea what this is. I think I know what it is now. This is, well, It, it, uh, it's drinking water grapes. It is basically biochar. It's activated carbon. And this looks just about the right size that I need for my water filter that I'm, I'm going to make. Connie had got me the three gallon jug. I have some cheesecloth that I put in the bottom. Then this will go after that. Then on top of that, um, either sand or I might use diatomaceous earth. I don't know because I'm using the diatomaceous earth for the chickens a little bit. So I don't know. Um, but this is essential. I had been making for my water filters just using biochar that I made myself. Um, but a lot of the wood around here, I'm not sure, you know, about it. Um, and this is just going to make it so, so much easier. So thank you. I'm going to get a water filter. This is going to make a nice water filter. Oh, yes. Okay. Let me put this one away. And let's see another one. Oh, my goodness. This is heavy. All righty. Let me open it up. Oh, yes. I think this is. This is the next thing that I needed, and that is oh, pebbles. I needed these pebbles. That was the next thing that I needed, and I think I'm set for the water filter now. Yep. Landscape rock, 20 pounds. You hooked me up, girlfriend. Thank you so, so very much. I'm going to put these... Oh, I cut into the bag a little bit. I was getting a little slap happy. <laughs> All right. Let me put this off to the side. I'm going to turn this off because I've got to rearrange again. And I've got one more big box. I got the big box here. It's a big box. Oh, yes. This, this was on my Walmart wish list. And this is the one that FedEx sent. So check this out. And it's been really, really hard to get these buckets. Black buckets. Black five-gallon buckets. And I believe that there are ten. Um, let me just take out half of them. Uh, I think that there's ten. One, two, three. Four, five, yep, ten black buckets. I needed these so bad. I use them for everything. Um, I use one black bucket for my um, for my shower, and I set it out in the sun, and it get the water gets nice and warm. Uh, although right now I don't need it to be warm. Um, I use these for the composting toilet. Although I designate specific buckets 
for the composting toilet that I, I mean, I don't use for anything else. So if it, beco if it becomes a composting toilet, it's always a composting toilet. But I can set these up around the tiny house and capture water in them. So I really needed these just so, so terribly bad. So thank you so much. I absolutely needed and love all of this. I cannot believe it. I mean, every time I look around, I look around in the tiny house, I look around outside the tiny house, and I see all of you. You know, I see, I, I wouldn't be where I am right now unless you guys had been so thoughtful and so kind and sent me all of these wonderful things. You know, when I'm inside the tiny house, I look around at everything I mean, let's let's look at it. The bed, the ottoman, the carpeting, um, the stuff my parents gave me, the shelf, the little tea cart. Um, there's so much in there, and every time I turn around, there's just something else that one of you has given me to help me make my life easier, um, more comfortable, or more fun, or whatever. So, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, you guys. Princes, I love them. I love them. And you know what? I've been feeling kind of out of it lately. And it's kind of weird because there's been a couple, two, three homesteading or off-grid channels that I follow that, I don't know, people have been just kind of down. Maybe, um, you know, failing health or low energy or maybe even depressed. I get depressed. I get depressed very easily. And um, I don't know. It's like a few, few people all at once have just been kind of down. So, I don't know, we just got to find a way to lift each other up, and you have all lifted me up. Uh, I just feel so much better today. <laughs> you know, of course, Prezi helps, but just people watching the videos and, and making comments and making me laugh and making me think, it's just really, really amazing. So let me, let me get this stuff put away, and I'll get back at you in a minute. <sighs> well, I got sidetracked. I saw something shiny, and I had to go go do it. I basically just uh, rearranged all the buckets, the plants and buckets over the other side of the tiny house because Judy has been basically wreaking havoc and I wanted to get that whole area off by where the those little raised beds are off to the side of the tiny house ready for the chickens because that whole area back there is going to be for the chickens and so I kind of moved things back. Anyhow, I'll show you that in the next video because this video has gotten way long. But uh, let's go ahead and close this out by showing you, what, 30 seconds of chickens or so. today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.